Hello and welcome to Festival of the Girl 2020 and happy International Day of the Girl. I'm Bex and I'm Charlotte and we are the co-founders of Generation Tribe. So what is Generation Tribe? Generation Tribe is an online community of shared career stories from women in lots of different jobs. Um, the idea is that these women can pass on their tips and advice to the next generation to help them get into careers. Um, we have got loads of different stories on there of different careers. So we've got a firefighter, we've got a scientist, an engineer, a 15 year old published author, a footballer who's also a rapper and lots, lots more. And um, so we are Bex and Charlotte, we run Generation Tribe, but we're also both journalists working in newspapers and magazines in our local area. And we both knew that we wanted to be journalists when we were younger, but we didn't know how we would make that dream happen which is part of the reason that we set up Generation Tribe, the website, um, because we wanted people, you know, that are your age to have an idea of how to get into a career like journalism. So Charlotte, what does a journalist do? So a journalist is somebody that gets uh, information and then they repackage it, I suppose, for their audience. So if you're a news journalist, uh, if something happens, so there's a big fire in your town, community, city, they would find out all the information from all the people, so like firefighters, police, uh, local people that had seen what had happened, and then repackage that as a story to inform their audience. Um, and there's different areas of journalism, so you can work in newspapers and magazines like we do, you can work in TV uh, for news programmes like BBC South Today, or you can work in radio, so that can be local radio, so your local radio station, or it can be somewhere like BBC Radio 1 and Newsbeat. Um, and there's also loads of different areas that you can go into. So if you've got an interest in something, so say you like football, um, there's loads of different football magazines, football podcasts, radio shows. So whatever you like, there's usually something that you can get into when it comes to journalism. Yeah. Um, and our advice, if you want to be a journalist, is just keep writing. Um, you know, if you can keep a journal, that's a really great way to practice. It's a really great way to sort of follow your curiosity with certain things as well, because as a journalist, you want to be asking lots of questions all the time and um, we'd also say definitely like read lots of news yeah. you know magazines um, and things like that so that you get an idea of what kind of writing they're looking for um, so yeah I think that's the best way and then as you get older you can start looking at getting work experience at your local newspaper which is a really great way to start yeah definitely so how to write a news story so you should ask what where why and how so if you come across an interesting event or situation, those are like the key ingredients um, of the story. Um, and you want to look at each aspect to make sure that you're covering it. So your introduction to any story that you write should be short and snappy. And the way that I was always told to do it was if you were running into your house really quickly to pick sign cups that like you've forgotten, it's if somebody goes, oh, what's going on? It's that little snippet that you would give to that person is what, your intro would be. Um, they say you have 30 seconds to sum it up and that's your intro. So it's the kind of thing to entice people to read the rest of the story, give them a bit of a taste of what, what's going on. Yeah, um, so we're inviting you to write a new story for us and um, for our website Generation Tribe um, and we encourage you to pick something that's interesting that's happened to you um, or something that interests you. So that could be how your first day back at school went or something creative that you've done recently. Um, and then look at those aspects that we looked at earlier. Um, so we'd like you to write a story of up to 150 words on a topic of your choice. And then we would love to see your stories. So if you can ask um, a parent or a guardian to send them to us at info at generationtribe.co.uk and we'll pick the best story to be featured on our website with your um, parent or guardian's permission. So it's a great taste of getting your, your first by of journalism really yeah. because it's always great to see a name attached to something that you've written I think that's something that we probably both yeah quite like <laughs> definitely definitely um so if you're interested in a certain career make sure to visit our website or if you, if you don't know what you want to do and um, we've got more than 200 stories on there of women in different careers and they each talk about um why they wanted to do that job how they got into it and what it's actually like day to day and um, so there's lots of great information on there um, and if there's a certain job that you're interested in and you can't find it on our website, just get one of your parents or guardians to get in touch with us and we'd be more than happy to find someone if you've got any questions to ask and um, we can make that happen. So thank you very much for listening to us today. Um, if you, We've given you our email, but if you want to comment below um, and use the hashtags The Future Is Hers and Festival of the Girl.
Ciao 2020.